and I welcome you to this small presentation of my other software, Pattern Designer. As you can see from the images that I have put, that you can create these kind of incredible patterns uh, by use of uh, simple geometrical figures. And the Pattern Designer can create, uh, the, the possibilities are limitless. And this Pattern Designer, I am going to give you a license, five licenses free for, to those people who create good patterns and a good review about Pattern Designer. I will select those reviews and give away five licenses for free by the end of October 2021. So why to waste time? Let's see what how Pattern Designer looks like and how to work with it. I promise it is going to be very simple, but you know to tweak certain parameters, you'll have to spend a little time there. So when you install Pattern Designer, there is a content library that is added to your My Document folder. So Either Pattern Designer or Quick Comicer, they are not installed for all the users. The user who is installing it, it is only available to the use uh, that user. So please remember that. So Pattern Designer VS is the folder that it gets uh, it gets created in the My Document folder, and it has multiple folders where uh, custom shapes, images, patterns, so which will all reflect in your. Um, Tool. So let's see how it uh, looks appears, and then we can work with it. I'm sorry. So Pattern Designer, once you put your license code and your name, it this is how it appears. The canvas is very small. In graphics and uh, 2D 2D graphics or 3D graphics. Uh, you always want to keep your image size uh, very small or the pattern size or the material uh, texture size or if, uh, small as, as small as possible so that your package size is smaller because you'll have n number of patterns in your graphics and if each pattern is too large then your package will be too large so for that sake we'll keep always a small size uh, image for the patterns be it 2D graphics texturing or 3D gra graphics texturing, uh, but that doesn't limit you to create a bigger one. So you can always create it up to 2K of pattern size. But I'm limiting this uh, tutorial for a 512 by 512 pixel size of this canvas. And if, if you're working with a 2K, 2K image size, obviously you'll have to zoom out a little bit, maybe up to 25% to properly understand what's happening. So if you work the, with this, uh, you can always change the canvas size later. You go here and change the canvas size, it will work. You need to understand that Pattern Designer itself is a combination of three tools, not just one tool called Pattern Designer. It's a combination of a Pattern Designer and it's a combination of a seamless editor. So once you create a pattern, uh, if you want to tile them one beside the other, and these tiles should be seamless. That means they, they must properly join so that it is not visible that they are two images. They should be they should appear as if it is one image. So that's called the tile designer that is available here. We will look at it how it works. And there is a shape creator. You want to create some quick shape which you don't want to go elsewhere to into complex photo editing applications or painting application you want to create some shape quickly a triangle or rectangle which is not available in pattern designer you want to do it uh, this is the tool shape creator so you can go here and quickly create a shape okay so let's quickly look at it uh, look at what is inside pattern designer on the right side you have the toolbox the layers is where you work with uh, different uh, geometrical shapes each layer correspond corresponds to either one geometrical shape or one image that you want to import so each layer has its own uh, each each geometrical shape or image has its own layer and each layer has certain parameters which which appear here in the shape parameters and there are some inbuilt patterns which are already provided to you so that your work becomes easy and the images that you want to import can be here as i have shown the my document folder if you want to put in more images you can always put that in, in into this folder okay and then shapes the shapes you can create and 
import quickly you want to create a house shape for example which is not easily available you will have to draw uh, take time and draw in something instead of that you can quickly create a shape you know these are the things uh, that go on fabrics uh, or as a, a 2d texture or uh, wallpapers or uh, um, gift wrapping papers so these are the textures so you don't need too many too much of detail you might need a lot of colors you might not need too much of detail so too many details so for that sake you can quickly create some shapes and put in here so let's see what are the existing patterns you have so if i double click here your pattern is has come here so it has brick pattern so it looks a little awkward on the right and left uh, that is how the pattern is created now you'll have to use the seamless editor to make it seamless so if i open this seamless editor so you can see that the original image is on the right side however the tiled pattern has some problems right uh, you see the problems there is a seam here there is a horizontal seam which is here which is not very clear but it is certainly visible there is a horizontal seam which shows that there are six images here now we want to make it seamless so how do we make it seamless so we come here we enlarge it to our uh, to our requirement and then slowly adjust these things so that you know it cannot be adjusted further you have to remove the spaces the secret is if you have any additional this buffer kind of spaces remove it entirely both sides you cannot just keep on dragging this here till you get seamless image no you will not get a seamless image because there are spaces here so these spaces have to be removed then only you'll get a seamless image so you got seamless image but still there is one brick that is very big and one brick is broken so you want to remove that kind of uh, scenario so let's make it small to our content fantastic so it has become seamless right you can clearly see this now i'm also adjusting the bottom part of it so that it becomes seamless from the bottom it's absolutely fantastic isn't it now you have got a very big image with six tiles of 512 pixel image so six into 512 right so you can save this image as a bigger texture if you want if you don't want you can save this part of it the cutout part of it as the tileable uh, seamless image if you save this and you will just port this to your uh, 2d or 3d graphics where it can be tiled and all the tiles will appear like this like a seamless image so this seamless editor itself is one tool to make your pattern seamless now you may have a question okay that is fine this is from the pattern designer can I make my own image? I already have a pattern with me. I want to make uh, it seamless. It is, it, is, it is having some problem. I want to make it seamless. Can I make it? Yes. You can open your image from here and put it here. Let the original image be here and then try to make this adjustment so that you get a seamless output. Okay. So this is also available for your external images, not just pattern designed images. So this is another tool for you coming up in this uh, pattern designer. So I will close this so that uh, you already understood. You can save this image as a JPEG or a PNG. If, if it has transparency in the background, then it can be saved as PNG. If it doesn't have transparency, it will be saved as JPEG. So that is it about this. Now you're making some changes. So let's add a layer here. Your seamless editor is here and you want to add a layer on this what kind of layer you want to add line or line segment or circle i want to add a circle i'm just giving an example okay don't worry about it so i just now i added layer i want to do i have to create another thing no you just refresh the image okay now all the contents will be available here you can see some scenes still appearing so you'll have to make the necessary changes to make it seamless again so i'm not doing that you have to refresh the image so that it appears again here so this is our day so i don't want to view the uh, circles so you remove the circles you can save this you can reopen it re-edit it all the, all the patterns are available here okay so these patterns you already might have seen these are some of the wallpapers that are available so these are images you cannot manually move these images these are arranged in a certain order 
what order the order is de determined by these parameters in the bottom shape parameters control box so if i look at this how many layers are there there are three layers here so i remove all of them so there is a background color upon which there are these images so i select this layer i can adjust this offset x means from the left top you need to understand if you are not a 2d and 3d artist you need to understand the origin in your, in your computer is always on the left top it's not at the bottom the bottom left in your studies high school studies you might have seen graphs bar graph histogram all these graphs you might have seen where the origin begins in the middle so you you always uh, assume that the origin must be here in the computer no in the computer the origin begins here and it this is the x direction and this is the y direction so if you're increasing x this goes like this if you're increasing y it goes like this so when we say offset 97.5 this is 97.5 pixels from here the offset and the offset uh, on the y is here so 97.5 pixels so what so when you're saying 97.5 why is it drawing from zero no the center of this image is at 97.5 so that is how it is and you can also have alt offsets so every row of this drawing so this draws like this all the elements are drawn from left to right and top to bottom left to right and top to bottom so the gap between two two images here or two figures here is given by gap x so i can increase gap x by saying like this so the gap has increased and vertical gap can be increased by like this so increased right and then if you want to have a little bit of randomness you can also increase this gap by say 20 this is alternate y which means this part will be pushed a little down not at not at zero but this will be pushed a little down further okay you will have little randomness uh, or you can also put uh, push the x part of it a little more so that you'll get a little more randomness now this is uh, the flowers and then we'll go to leaves so leaves are here uh, leaves are very symmetrically arranged maybe just to serve the flowers yeah just beside the flowers these are arranged so I will remove this flowers adjustment so that we can see what is the actual arrangement of this so this is properly arranged we don't want any alternate offsets at both sides both places so the leaves are arranged so that it is near the flower so when we go back to the leaves we can say rotate them randomly so each leaf is rotated in a random direction the maximum number, uh, amount of randomness that can be achieved is 100 kind of 100 random values so any image can have maximum 100 random values so that is how it is however you can also set a specific random rotation so i just set 30 degrees random you can also switch the direction of the leaves vertical and horizontal you know flip vertical or horizontal that's up to you and what is this one this one is another leaf so this is flipped and kept as two leaves so these are this pattern is let's explain further so let's create a fresh pattern from so it doesn't ask you to save the file it will only ask you have you saved the file if you say no it is your responsibility to go and save it uh, i will say yes i have saved the file a new pattern i have created i will change the background to little yellow yellowish kind i will create a rectangle so these rectangles are filled with yellow by default and have a blue border so let me change the border to uh, the fill color to something like this 
and the alpha can be adjusted here the transparency of the color can be adjusted here so i will keep it opaque and then rotate them by 45 degrees wow beautiful isn't it this texture uh, this pattern looks by itself beautiful i will add a line and i don't want the line to be overwriting the rectangles i will push it down so that i have some pattern behind now i want this line width to be one it is very barely visible and i will increase the gap why because for lines there is only gap between the lines there is no x part of it right so there is only one gap so i will increase it by say 40 so that they are scattered a bit i will duplicate the same layer lines and bring it down again then i will say i will have a thicker line say 5 and i will just move it a bit i will the offset will be since this is a thick line instead of 5 i will set the offset of y because from top we are pushing it down so it's a 5 offset so slightly down and i will have another line copy of this push it down which should be after my which should be after my thicker line so i don't know how can i push this let me say six six is not this is offset x i will not change the offset x but this is what it is so let's increase the offset i will increase the offset by nine okay right. now i will add uh, i will not i don't like this blue color here let's make it something the red line this also a little bit of red and the last line also a little bit of red okay. and this green also i think i need to change this on them somehow i'm not getting that color right this is okay now i will add little circles circles are by themselves placed at the appropriate place isn't it uh, okay uh, I might want to change the color of circles. I can reduce the radius of the circle here for the circles. Since it can also be ellipse, you can squeeze the circle to make it into ellipse, right? On one side. So it has width and height. If width and height are same, it becomes a circle. If width or height are not in the same ratio, then the ratio of width and height must be one, right? For a circle. Oh, but if it is not then it becomes ellipse obviously so let's uh, let's make a smaller circle out of it but when we make smaller circle then it is distributed awkwardly and we need to place it accordingly so since we reduced by 20 uh, let's increase the gap by 20 so so which means 30 it becomes 30 let's see if they get placed appropriately so this is how you need to do mental calculation so you continuously cannot you know increase and decrease c right you have to calculate since you decrease the width and increase the uh, decrease the width and height the same amount if you adjust in the gap they will closely get to the right position maybe you need to tweak a little bit but they get um, to the almost there right so this is another pattern you want to change save it absolutely you can save it uh, ensure that you you are giving the right name here because you might want to share this pattern with somebody else who is using pattern designer and this is pattern designer let's look at shape maker so uh, i will create a new shape uh, better to go with the 200 by 200 it's up to you what you want to do so here you don't draw like a pen you will draw from point to point here there is a grid you can only draw from one point to another on the grid how do you draw you don't click and drag you only click at a point 
leave the mouse and click at another point so that a line segment happens. So I will show you. So we will create a triangle here. The triangle already exists in the uh, pattern designer, but we'll, for the example sake, we'll create uh, a triangle or a rectangle or a parallelogram. Maybe parallelogram doesn't exist. So let's create a parallelogram. So you have to click new shape and then say start tracking. So it has to track your movements. That's what it means. So I will create a parallelogram. How does a parallelogram look like? So I will begin here and go here and go here, come here. So this is a parallelogram, isn't it? Now I can change the color to something, some color. I can also add another rectangle. I have to save this element before I add one more. I, I will save this. I will say new element and then start tracking is still on. I will create a, I don't know what I want to create, but I'll still give it a try. Okay, I've created something which I don't know. Maybe an X. Okay, some pattern I wanted to create, which is not existing in pattern designer and you don't want to open all this paint and all. A simple shape. So you have to save this element as well. Sometimes you accidentally click here and there a point appears here and a value appears here since you clicked start tracking. Uh, it will ask you, there is some dangling point you want to save it. Uh, so at that point in time, you say no. So here, don't track it. Now save the element. Uh, save the element is done. So finalize. You are you have finalized the picture. Now what happens is you can drag this entire image, right? So you can also edit this image. Then you will be able to edit each of these elements and then fill with a different color if you want to. So move it aside, click the other one, give it a different color. So you have two images. Now finalize again and save it. So it is asking, there is a dangling one point. Do you want to save it? No. Save it as X, Y, Z, something. So it will save. Now exit. Now you want to add that X, Y, Z to some pattern. So let's open a new pattern. Uh, and to go to shapes, your X is, X, Y, Z is appearing here. It is appearing in a little, you know, awkward way because that is how this, this is a list view and this is how it lists. Don't worry. It, it looks good on the screen. So let's, it's 200 by 200 by default you created. So it retains the size. So let's make it 40 by 40 so that it suits, suits our image. Uh, reduce this to say 20. 20 offset so, so there is some gap because after you have put another 20 and another image it cannot put entirely so it has left some gap so let's make this gap as 30 good and now I, i'll give some randomness absolutely right so whatever you have created has become a fantastic pattern isn't it adding some lines to it or you can do whatever you want. This might, uh, this looks like a fashionable fashion shirt or something. Uh, this could be a gift wrapper. Uh, if you say in the background to something like this, this could be a gift wrapper or if you can, you can make it golden also, whatever. So this is how you create, you use shape maker. Uh, if you want to make this into seamless, now is this seamless? No, it is not seamless. So let me zoom in a bit to understand uh, the part of it to make it more seamless. Let me make it 100%. Right. So how can I make seamless? The important point that you need to understand is when you have random distribution of elements, seamless image becomes a challenge. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. So if you're trying to put a lot of randomness into your picture. Seamlessness is very difficult, but still we will try to manage. How will we try to manage? I cannot join these broken uh, 
broken images. See, some of the edges are gone for these images, right? I cannot join them on the right side because these are randomly distributed. The orientation of these images on the left side doesn't match the orientation of these images on the right side. So what I need to do is I have to exclude both of these images so that it becomes easy for me. I hope you got my point. So I will exclude this layer, this image set so that things are gone. So I get seamlessness automatically, right? Fantastic. I have excluded that because of which the ra randomness has gone and certain arrangement has become possible. Similarly, the top and bottom. The bottom images are randomly arranged and they have no comparison with the top images. So I cannot join them. So what I will do is I will exclude them. Similarly, I will exclude the bottom part. Sometimes this, this handle is disappearing. When it disappears, you try to use this handle and it will appear automatically and then come back. I will fix that. I think that's a bug somewhere. I'm unable to catch the bug so far. Okay, and it appears more or less good for you. Then you are all set. See, even though the distribution of uh, these X elements is random, you still could get seamlessness because you have used your intelligence. And you can save this image into JPEG. You can also save this part, the seamless part the central uh, rectangle or the square that you have created, you can also save that part and distribute only that part of the image. If you don't want to distribute any of this, you want to distribute only this, then also export, export this image as is. Okay, so these are the ways that you create. Uh, I can create uh, so there are arcs, there are rectangles, there are triangles, there are image. So you can add an external image. You can browse and bring that image. Remember, as of now, pattern designers resizes any any of your images to 200 by 200. The longest side will be 200 always. The shortest side will be adjusted according to the aspect ratio of that image. Suppose you have a picture of yourself. Your horizontal width is less than the vertical uh, length right obviously if you have a vertical picture of yourself then your width is smaller than height so the height aspect uh, the aspect ratio of uh, you is if we take it as width by height it is obviously less than one so your height will be 200 pixels and width will be accordingly adjusted the longest side will be 200 pixels maximum so remember that and always import the images which are PNG, which have some transparency in them. If you import a, uh, an image which has uh, non-transparent pixels in the background, then your pattern will be very cluttered. It, it doesn't look nice. Um, your background must be remote so that you get a PNG image. So that's very important. If you're not a graphical artist, you need to understand this. Graphical artists, 2D and 3D artists, they do understand what are transparent images or are not transparent images. If you're not, you need to understand this part. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And as I said, I'm going to give away five licenses for free. Uh, the version one till 1.5. I'm going to give the license for free, which means if you if you win the license today till one it becomes 1.5 you will get a free software till 1.5 you'll be able to use it for free after 1.5 you may have to get the license again maybe by winning some other uh, competition or by purchasing it so that's all folks uh, happy patterning thank you so much for watching